what's going on people it's your boy helicopter what is good i hope everybody enjoyed their halloween had a good time it's already like the second of november so i know i'm a few days late but i haven't had a chance to post i got a real job got tons of hours and shit like that so i haven't had a chance so just want to give a belated you know happy halloween hope everybody had fun was safe I know I saw some stuff on the news with people having accidents, some people, you know, there's a very unfortunate story out here in Cali where a, a woman and her child actually got hit by a car, so that's extremely sad, I'm sorry if any of you guys had to go through anything like that, and, um, you know, I just want to say that, uh, you know, I hope everybody had a good time, that, you know, that's what it's all about, you know, having fun, enjoying good times with your friends and your family, and, uh, you know, getting that good ass candy, you know, if you go to the right house, so, this is some black ops off, um, action here. Can't even get the words out. I'm fucking tired. I'm a little bit tipsy right now. I just got back <laughs> from a uh, hookah spot that I was at with my friends, so I had a few drinks earlier tonight. But you know, um, some black ops action, having some fun with my boy. Um, what is his name? CT Fallout used to be. Um, he's in this new clan called I for an I now. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's just a uh, you know just a really good pub stomping clan. A uh, whole bunch of, uh, you know, well-known pub stompers in there. And they just get in there and do their thing. Mostly pub matches from all that I know. But, um, you know, you guys should check them out. If you got some skills, you think you might be a good addition to the team, go ahead and check them out. The clan name is called I for an I. So, so, you know, not to get too far off topic or anything like that. But I wanted to talk about this whole thing happening with um, Hurricane Sandy. Uh, there were tons of people that lost their houses, lost their homes and stuff like that. I'm not trying to make, you know, like a downer commentary or any of that stuff, but it's just very sad news. And, you know, obviously there's tons of news coverage and stuff on this. So I know it's, you know, a lot of you guys have heard a lot about it already, but, you know, I just want to say that, you know, it, I mean, at least for me, you know, I don't have to go through the stuff that these people are going through to understand, you know, you know, the severity of it. And, you know, really take a second to step back and appreciate the things that I do have um, in my life. Because, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty fucked up what they're going through. I mean, some people lost their homes. Some people don't have anywhere else to go to and shit like that. And, you know, that, that's, you know, one of the worst situations you could possibly go to. There's, you know, a huge difference between, you know, we don't have any, you know, we don't have anything to eat or, you know, um, you know, my family can't really afford clothes for myself and, you know, all these other situations. There's a huge difference between that and I literally have no place to sleep tonight. I do not have a place I can call my home. I don't have, you know, my own bed. Um, it's just, a, you know, a really shitty way to live. Um, and it's just... A really bad way to, to you know go through life especially if you're a younger person because you know you can't support yourself there's nothing that you can do about it you're stuck in this situation and you just have to hope that you know hopefully that your your parents are you know handling their stuff financially and they have money and stuff to take care of the problems that you guys are going through so it's a horrible situation i just want to say you know i hope everybody can you know sort of learn from this in a way and just learn to, you know, really take a step back and appreciate what you guys have at home. Even the little stuff, um, you know, your own bed, you know, you have your Xbox. There are people who would kill to have an Xbox. Um, I'm not sure what it is, so um, don't, you know, quote me exactly on it. But there are certain countries, uh, certain Asian countries, where they're not even allowed to have an Xbox. You can have your home and everything you want, and there are certain countries that just don't allow it. Um, I can't remember the exact name, but you guys can look it up and check for yourselves and get the other information on it. And, you know, there are just people that live in, you know, way worse situations than we do. So, you know, it's definitely an eye opener for me when I think about stuff like that. I hope it works the same for some of you guys, because, you know, there are some people who, you know, really take what we have, especially in America. I mean, fuck, compared to other countries. I mean, my God. The type of shit that we have compared to other countries is just on an entirely different level. You know, even a, a shitty life in um, a shitty life in America is ten times better than some people would get in some of these other, you know, uh, lesser countries, especially you know, like third world countries and stuff like that. It's just horrible what some other people go through. So it's just crazy. Um, it helped me to you know take a step back and really think about things. 
hopefully it works the same way for you guys and um you know that's my main message and you know just what i wanted to talk to you guys about hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay um final score of it it's going to be 79 and 7 you know just all rushing got my flag jacket and marathon so i can run through those claymores and stuff like that live through all those because i miss black ops you know the the explosives actually worked very well in this game and that was one of my favorite parts of it so please um if you guys get a chance please just go ahead drop a like on here if you can if you did enjoy the video i'm not trying to force it on you or anything like that and make sure you come back out more commentaries tons of more gameplays on the way hopefully some dual comms with some fun people and keep looking you know keep looking out for more content for me all right i'll be here i'm out peace